<laughs> hello. Hello. Welcome back, my friends. If you're new here, I am Lance, and welcome back to my gaming channel. Today, we're checking out a video by Mr. West Tech. The new update and de event details for Fallout 76 for the, I'm going to mispronounce this, Foshna, Fakashna, Fakata um, <laughs> event coming up. Uh, this is going to be actually my first Foshna. I think it's called Foshna event. Um, I, I was, yeah, I didn't start playing 76 until season 14, the beginning of season, the day of season 14, actually. So that was what, July, June or July of last year. It was midsummer. Um, because I started season 14, that those, and I remember that was, uh, they, they were doing meet week that week. Also, that was the meet week event. Um, so I was introduced to that for the very first time. So, um, Fakash, Fakata, <laughs> Nelly Furtado, um, Fashna event. I didn't even, you know, I didn't know what it was. I just heard it was just, I saw some people's vending machines with this kind of elaborate flary stuff. And I was like, oh, the mask looked cool though. So that's why I'm here for. I saw on his thumbnail, a bunch of new masks for the Fashna event. That's how you pronounce it. Anyway, I'll leave the link for Mr. West Tech down below so you can check out his channel and uh, like and subscribe. And if he has a Patreon, check out his Patreon. Without further ado, let's check out the new events, uh, the new items, event details, and all that good stuff for this video. Here we go. <laughs> Hello everybody, hope you're having a fantastic day today. Thank you so much for checking out the I, I'm sorry, I had to pause it for a second because one of the his little people and Mr. West Tech is at level 7068. Big dog, you're almost at what is it, 7600? You're about to get that seven dollar um Adam. Adams, Ooh, yeah, it's 700 Adams, that's $7, $7 worth of Adams. Ooh, all that, all those hours of working and, and, and playing the game and you only get $7 worth of Adams. Okay. But anyway, the what I was trying to say, I saw the name right under Mr. West Tech saying Donald the Clown. I thought it said Donald the Duck, but Donald the Clown, I thought it was kind of funny video today we're going to be going over some update details that are coming in the future and an event that we're going to be getting soon and some stuff dealing with fast snack so oh fast snack i like how i say it better fashna let's get into it here got another perfectly preserved pie Okay, so there's a new Inside the Vault. I will link this in the description in case you want to check it out yourself. But it does say, we hope your new year is off to a great start. Our team enjoyed a lovely winter break full of rest with our friends and family. And some of us even had a pleasure of running in, running into you in the wasteland. We have a lot of exciting plans for 2024. You're allowed to take a break. You're not allowed to take a break. You're supposed to be working 24 hours a day so you can make new rewards for us so we can like hoard them all. You're not allowed to work. You're not supposed to take some breaks. We want more rewards. I want to collect everything. Collect them all like Pokemon. In case you missed it in our letter to the community, at the end of December, art director John Rush announced our plans to expand our map southward deep into the wooded heartland of Shenandoah. I probably said that wrong. Shenandoah, sweetheart. Um, <laughs> Mr. West, like, I like him. Um... We love you here. Um, yeah. Remember, was it December 30th? They're going to shut down the servers at 9 a.m. I They'll probably have it, hopefully by, by noon. By the time the new time starts, they'll probably have it back up. Probably not. Because last time they had that was at the day of season 14. They had to do the update. They started at 10 a.m. Because I know I was playing at 9.45 and I saw the little marker that says, we're shutting it down. So you better, you better, you better do what, you better finish up what you were doing and get on out of here because we're, we're going to do the maintenance. So that was at 10 a.m. and I wasn't able to get back on until a quarter to four in the afternoon. 
So that could happen again. So don't expect to be like an hour long. Just no, it takes a quite a few hours. Like like I said, what was that? From ten a.m., eleven a.m., twelve a.m., one a.m., two. How many one a.m.? Uh, two p.m., three p.m. Um, five what was it five and a half hours basically? They were down for so it, that could happen again. So you know, don't be surprised. I apologize for that, but we've known about this for a bit now, so let me know your thoughts in the comments, what you think about this map expansion coming up. Uh, Burning Love, I'm really intrigued what that's about. That is what I'm curious about, what the Burning Love is consist of. But this isn't exactly new news that we're going to be getting to here in a sec. We're going to be talking about the uh, PTS that's new basically coming out and the Burning Love event. So let's just switch on over here. This is about the private test server, which I'm hoping to take part in. If you're new to our PTS, which I am experienced and wondering how to join, it's easy. All players who own a copy of Fallout 76 on Steam can also access separate game download to install and play in their... Only for PC people, no console. They don't let us console peasants have any kind of input on that. Steam library. Now that progress from the PTS does not carry over into the live game and the Atomic Shop is disabled. So I'm looking very forward to taking part in this. I'm not sure if I can make videos on it or anything like that, but definitely look for that in the future. It's going to take me a little bit to get that set up, but we will be in the PTS very soon as we did have a very successful stream today with the new PC. So definitely excited to get into that Ooh, and congratulations. test some of the future. I love a new PC. Oh my God, there's nothing like the smell of a new PC. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, well, not the smell of a new... <laughs> I'm thinking of a new car scent. Uh, <laughs> or a new pair of leather shoes or something. <laughs> new scent, the new PC scent. Don't you love that new PC smell? <laughs> no, there's nothing like... When I got my brand new PC, it's been oh, oh, God, almost two years now. Um, times was by oh it was like nine day compared to my last one and now this one I, I'm I'm wearing this one out poor little baby future updates that are coming out which I think aren't until March for this we are getting an update for January 30th 30th as well I think we've seen reports of stability concerns and released a hotfix on Friday December 8th that addressed these issues which is a long time ago so we're, we're just going to skip that part our next update for Fallout 76 is currently planned for January 30th like I was just saying and it will address this is the, what I was talking about early in another video naked NPCs the Neapolitan Casino the Neapolitan, if you guys seen any of my videos, I rant and rave about that taxes, uh, tax evasion mission with the Neapolitan. It always, that is always glitched. And they said, we'll fit the hot fix they had a while back. I'm, I'm not going to get back into it, but look like they're trying to fix that. Please do. Please do. I, the sensational game is fun and I, I'm, I'm, I can do it one. I could do it like single player. I could do it all by myself. But it's nice to switch it up. It gets kind of boring to do the same one. Grind, 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 grind. But, or sorry, address bugs such as non-lootable Union Power Armor, which we've all been talking about. I yeah. made a video about it showing you how to pick up the armor if you want to know how to do that. Um, I'll link that in the description as well. And missing communist crafting items. I've been hearing about this as well, and I can, you know, understand people being upset over it. We're also investigating the reports of missing X01 radiation resistances, which we've talked about in the past as well, and oh. we'll provide you with more information on on those fixes as soon as we can as always we thank you for your feedback and bug reports so it definitely looks like a lot of the stuff it's will be crashing while January leaving 30th. the most what? sensational game crashing while leaving the, i don't deal with crashing when when i'm leaving the sensational game i deal with it just freezing so when you talk to mother charlotte it they it blacks out into they it transitions to you outside of uh whatever the places where Mother Charlotte's at. While it while it's in that transition, that, that loading screen, it just stays there. It just stays there. It just keeps on thinking, thinking, thinking until you exit out, go back into it again and go back into expeditions again. And then it, it, you can finally go back into it. Luckily, you don't have to redo any of the mission. It just spits you right out next to the vertebrate and you just talk to the uh, Lexan 
Lexi, whatever her name is, and you head on out and get your shit. That's the only problem I ever had. As far as it crashing to desktop, I don't have that problem. Which we've also known in the past as well. We we heard that we were going to get the uh, the radiation on the X01 fixed, the Union Power Armor pieces fixed. I only use X01, so that's fine. I think Whatever. we will be getting the um, different variant of the um, the expedition as well back that we okay, used to what be able to get this? a lot of XP on. But on to the upcoming event, the Burning yeah, Love this? event. This is new news. Have you ever been so in love that your whole body feels like it's on fire? No? Well, how about setting someone else on fire? That made me chuckle when I first read it. Uh, starting January 30th at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, claim the free Hot Rod Pink Flamer skin in the Atomic oh. Shop and use it to complete special Burning Love weekly challenges like we've had in the past. I think we're all familiar with this. And you'll get legendary modules, perk cards, repair kits, and more. Complete four out of the five weekly challenges to unlock the weekly challenge reward, which I'm going to show you right now. Oh, that that fire, pink fire skin looks really cool on that thing. So this is just like previous um, events that we've had. And I will make a guide for this. As simple as it is, I will make a guide. Um, the pink mechanic jumpsuit is a reward for the first week. That's cute. Um, Rose-tinted glasses, the reward for the second week. That's we cute. get a pink fireplace for completing the event. So complete at least four out of the five challenges, like it just said. And get ready to kindle those flames. The Burning Love Challenge event ends 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on February 13th, just in time for Fast Snack to begin. We'll return with another Inside the closer to fast snack day with a recap of tips tricks for the event plus images of new rewards you can add to your collection even though we have some pictures we're gonna see soon in the meantime mark your calendars for the event running from february 13th to 27th and stock up on that canned meat stew i would rather stock up on brain bombs if i'm being honest um we've also got a double xp weekend coming in february as well uh, during the final uh fast snack weekend Ooh. so Definitely looking forward to this. We have some new masks that I'm going to show you. And yes. big shout out to Nuka Knights. Um, I wouldn't Ooh, be able to Nuka bring Knights. this information if it wasn't for them. If you have not checked out their website, I will link it in the description. Absolutely amazing. They are on top of all the good news coming out. And this is why I'm able to bring you this video. So definitely go check out their site, everybody. I will link it in the description. It is definitely worth checking out if you want to keep up on the new Fallout 76 news. Oh, cool. Uh, but uh, here's one of the new masks that we're getting, and I'm oh. assuming this is a Honey Beast mask, it sort of looks like, which is very cool. I'm hoping to get all of these, as I already have all the Fast Knack masks. I have to have, or keep my collection complete. Um, we have the Scorch Beast Queen mask as well. You can see the That's little cool. um, crown on her there, the whatever you want to call it. That's pretty cool, actually. And we also have the Blue Devil Mask, which is That's very cool. cool. That's probably my favorite out of these three. I heard there's going to be more masks than this, but I think it's just variants of these ones that will be more of common and some will be rare. Um, here's an Agua Mask, but this one and the next one I'm, that I'm going to show you, the Robot Mask, um, Nuka Knights was saying that it's going to be an Atomic Shop only item, uh, so you yeah, won't be they... able to get those from just doing the uh, parade, I don't think, anyway. These will be in the Atomic Shop. But the first three, you should be able to earn them and earn variants of them. Um, don't quote me on that, that's just my opinion and how it looks so far. Also, it looks like we are getting a battle pass, ladies and gentlemen. Shout out to Nuka Knights for finding out all this information. You guys are amazing. Um, yeah, if you read it right there, it says Season 16 Battle Pass. Unlock access to all premium Fallout first locked rewards in Season 16. Unlocks boost for all characters on your account. And it even says Season 16 Battle Pass. So it looks like you'll be able to get all the extra rewards from the scoreboard without having to get Fallout first, which would be very cool. And yeah, that's pretty much it, everybody. Let mm. me know your thoughts in the comments, what you think all this I, stuff is. Definitely a surprise to see all this. Big shout out to Nuka Knights. So you guys are awesome. And as always, everyone, thanks for watching. Have a great day. All right. All right. Take notes, my all right. All right. That was interesting. That was fun. Um, I'm going to repeat myself. Hold on. I want to go back here for a second. You might just find a commercial. Okay, pause that. Okay, so let's go over here. The burning love. Let's go back to that burning love thing. I'm kind of very curious about that.
These are showed. Okay, here we go. Okay, so this is the fireplace. Okay, it's a regular fireplace with a pink flame. So that is the pink outfit that you get. And those must be the rose-colored glasses I see on her face. Okay. And that's the... See, that paint job's pretty cool. I... I what is that? The hot rod pink flamer skin? That's pretty cool, flamer skin. That's pretty cool. Set someone else on fire. That's interesting. So the weekly... Let's move on to the next thing here. Okay. So the jumpsuit is three rewards. A lot like the uh, birthday event when they had the suit, the cake, the rolling pin. <laughs> I don't remember that. Birthday suit. Will you guys ever use that birthday suit again from the birthday event? I'm sure they'll have it again this year. No, no, wait a minute. That's only for the fallout of that. They probably won't have that again another five years then. The 10 year anniversary. I don't know. But will you guys ever. I know I've seen people use the birthday suit before after the event. Recently, actually, just a few weeks ago, matter of fact. At the. Um, the Nuka World event. Spin the wheel. It was at that event. I saw someone had they had a flamethrower, a really nice skin actually for the flamethrower, um, and they were in the birthday suit with the one of the flash card masks, the old man winter one. I think that's where they were wearing. But um, yeah, I saw the birthday suit, so that was cool. Um, yeah, this is a cute, cute little video. I was kind of, kind of, so I get a little bit more understanding what the um, burning love is a little bit more now, and the flash now mask. Meskis, the Meskis, the robot one of the atomic shop is, I, I'm not too really, that's not really exciting to me, um, me personally, but the Uruguay one, hello, and this, but I think that it's just variants of these ones that will be more of common and some Agua mask, oh, but this pause, yeah, that looks cool, I would get that one, that one looks actually pretty cool too. Very nice, highly detailed. It looks pretty cool. I like that one. I'll probably get that one. Yeah, let me know what you guys think about what's coming up soon. I know I just did another video um, today about, you know, season 16 and all those new cryptid uh, themed. So that's kind of fun. So, yeah, let me know in the comments what you think about what's coming up. Are you excited? I am. I'm excited about the new expansion in Shenandoah River. Uh, over in the Shandor area. That's going to be cool. I just saw the new location that it's being worked on over. <sighs> I, I, I don't even know. I don't know. Whatever. I saw a couple new locations they added to the map that you, you know, there it says be back soon, wherever that one big building is uh, with little sizes. Be back soon. I think it's going to be like a, like a nightclub or I think it's going to be like a nightclub or something like that or some kind of club or something like that or a, like a maybe like a casino type of gig but i think it's like more like a party type of place but anyway um anyway let me get out of here talk to you all later take care of yourself take care of each other and love peace and grease bye <laughs>